Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Barnsley in today's episode. We're going to play a second placed West Ham. We're also going to play a sixth place Middlesbrough. In today's episode, we could be promoted to the Premier League. Only four games since the last episode then, the first of which was a 2-0 home win against Birmingham. Gonzalo Ramos and Bruno Costa with the goals, both playing in the attack and midfield position and a good little win. Next up was away from home against Nottingham Forest. Arjan van der Heerde got the goal in the 31st minute to give us a 1-0 win. He then got injured for a few weeks. We then hosted Rotherham and won 3-0. Corley Woodrow with a double and Dimitri Cavaria from right back getting himself a goal. It, at this stage, by the way, I'm not sure when it happened, but um, Esposito was injured. So Corley Woodrow is getting a lot of game time starting up top and he's getting some goals. And finally, it was a 1-1 away draw against Cardiff City. Corley Woodrow gave us the lead in the 33rd minute. Aidan Flint equalised for them in the 76th. And that is how things finish. So the championship table looks like this. We are sitting top of the table with only eight games. No, it's not eight games. It's six games remaining. Could we win the league today? It's not eight. It's eight games remaining. There's 24 points to play for. And we are 20 points clear from West Ham in second position. But we're also... 21 points clear from West Brom in third. So after these two games, we could we could theoretically be champions. But the first part of that is beating West Ham. We are at home today, so we're pretty much set to be able to win uh, to get promotion between these two games. I think we're pretty Middlesbrough away. West Ham will beat them away from home, so we do have form against them. And if we are to perform to our expectations... We should get the win again today. This will be the lineup then. Jamal Blackman and goal. Kavaria, Batella, Tisserand and Herrero in the defence. Basali and Moat in the centre. Ayan van der Heere, Ramos and Bruno Costa comes in for the injured Reese Nelson. And of course, Corley Woodrow starting up top as Esposito is still out for a little bit. So he might be available for the Middlesbrough game, but no point in risking him today. So West Ham, they should have been absolutely laughing at this league with the sort of players they have got, but they have struggled this season to keep pace with us. They are still in second, and they're probably still hot favourites for promotion, but they are not on our level. Fabianski in goal, Fredericks, Diop, Chiriches, Laxalt, Matic, Declan Rice, Pablo Fornals, Harry Wilson, Yarmolenko, Ayeti, who's he? I have no idea. But um, they've got like they've still got Declan Rice in the squad. I mean, he's absolutely fantastic. Far too good to be played in the championship. But we are the better team. We've got them at home. I expect a win. Let's see if we can get it. So the first 20 minutes or so has flew by. We get our first highlight. And it's an offside goal by Issa Diop. So it didn't count for anything. Another highlight now. Wilson with a free kick for West Ham. Yarmolenko heads it down. It comes to Issa Diop. And he does get his goal this time. His fifth goal of the season from centre back for West Ham. And not a great start by us. Wilson takes the free kick. It's a bit of a defensive calamity. The ball's bobbing about in the box. But Issa Diop is first to it. And Blackman's completely left flat-footed. We go 1-0 down. Come on, boys. Let's get a goal before half-time to equal things up. Gonzalo Ramos to Bruno Costa out at Tony Herrero. Ugh, don't lose the ball here. We don't want a West Ham counter-attack. Basoli tries to switch the play to the right-hand side. It does fall to Woodrow. No, it doesn't. It falls to Ian van der Heerde. Play it to Cavaria. What are you doing? He holds on to it. It finds Tony Herrero. He knows better than me. Um, don't listen to me, boys. I talk all the rubbish. Tony Herrero gets his first goal of the season. I'm a bit surprised by that. Um, he's played pretty much every game for us that he's been available. But Van der Heer to do an excellent work here to keep hold of the ball. Spots the run of Tony Herrero on that left-hand side. And that is a fantastic finish at the back post to level things up. Not the greatest of first-half performances by us, really. Um, they are holding a lot more possession than we are. But is there an opportunity to get a goal before half-time? Moat with the corner. It's played into Van der Heer. He hits the box. <laughs> hits the box. He hits the post. And despite the sliding challenges from our players, it wasn't a B. So there we have it. Barnsley won. West Ham won. Half-time. We will look to make some tactical changes in the second half. Maybe slow the tempo down a little bit. And uh, shorten our passing range to try and keep possession a little bit more. We will move to a more positive team mentality with that change as well. I find it's a combination that works out pretty well for us when we're in a game where we need to start fighting for possession. And here we have the first highlight of the second half. Tisserand picks up the ball and Herrero pumps it down the line. Corley Woodrow absolutely does it's a D up. And Corley Woodrow is proven that you don't need Sebastiano Esposito to get into the Premier League. Corley Woodrow's 14th goal of the season 
bearing in mind he's only started maybe 16 or 17 games so he's done fantastically well when he's been given the opportunity he gets the goal that puts us 2-1 up 55 minutes in half an hour or so to go boys if you can hold on we are almost certain to be promoted so West Ham have adjusted their tactic they went very much attacking with two strikers as well so we're gonna to have to be a little bit more careful of that attack and threat but ever since they've made the change it doesn't really seem to have made much difference and with 10 minutes to go we will make our changes ourselves Ian van der Heer has done well we'll take him off for Malik Wilkes B. Choke can come on for Gonzalo Ramos and Ben Williams can come on for Tony Herrero at left back and time is just ticking away West Ham this uh, formation change has not worked well for them or has it as Chiriches picks up the ball on the right hand side finds Yarmolenko if we can pinch this it's probably a great counter attacking opportunity but it doesn't look likely as Isidio goes all the way back the ball's pumped forward Matic can't get to it first Bruno Costa's going to get there and he is in behind the defense is pushed right up Fabianski with a decent save to keep West Ham with a chance of a point but with only one minute to go and we having a corner I can't imagine they're going to break from this Tisserand gets his head on it goes over the bar 30 seconds remain lads just hold out I'm not even going to talk through the rest of this it's pointless and there we have it full time we've either won the league or got promoted something has happened but the confetti is out the boys are celebrating on a stand and that is the championship title coming to Barnsley we've still got seven games to go it's a uh, it's it's too early lads we, we didn't want it now <laughs> but there's the confirmation with only seven games remaining in the league we are now 23 points clear from West Ham in second West Brom must have been beat as well which means we are now confirmed as championship winners Spartansley win the Skybet championship only our second season in charge and we are heading to the Premier League now just to remind you the whole point of this save is to get promoted with championship clubs and then have one season to make it make a count in the Premier League and see how far we can take them but our boys is the squad ready for Premier League football maybe not but we've got a summer transfer window to fix that we've still got Middlesbrough in today's game <laughs> so uh, we'll play Middlesbrough um, obviously next episode will be the end of season but our boys they've done incredibly incredibly well but we'll save that for another time so we come to the Middlesbrough game of course Jordan Williams comes back in at right back as Dimitri Cavaria has picked up an unfortunate knock everything else remains pretty much the same uh, Esposito is fit for this match and could start but I've decided to keep Corley Woodrow up there as he is in a good bit of form Middlesbrough themselves are fighting for uh, the playoffs so we would expect a difficult game today especially away from home and especially since we've been confirmed champions we'll see if the boys have decided to go to the beach first highlight of the game though five minutes in it's we who are on the attack Moat tries to find Reese Nelson who does manage to get to a Tony Herrero can he get his second goal in two games no he can't another highlight now corner this time Tisserand seems to be the centre back who gets on the end of it the most but he doesn't actually get that many goals so uh, maybe we need to readjust our corner tactic a little bit there but Gonzalo Ramos picks up the ball and gives it away and it's going to be Middlesbrough who counter-attack with a somber longer cutting in off this left hand side he goes for goal uh, Blackman uh, you've got two hands they're used to catch the ball but it goes out for a corner Ellsfield is to play it in and we manage to get it clear the rest of the first half then is just sort of tippering out nothing really happened in Middlesbrough and not really in this game going by the match stats but of course match stats can be deceiving we pick this up with a highlight 38 minutes in we play playing it pretty well between the midfield and the defence and Reese Nelson I have no confidence when he's on the ball to be quite honest with you because he's terrible or at least he's terrible in this system I'm not saying Reese Nelson's the worst player in the world but um, similar to Jordan I last season I expected him to be one of our best players and he hasn't really performed yet I still continue to play him even though he's not my player don't ask me why I just do Reese Nelson with a free kick in Batella Moat there and there you are there's Nelson proving his worth getting a free kick in results in a goal even though he doesn't get accredited with the assist uh, Alex Moat with his eighth goal of the season from centre midfield David Patella wins the header initially and I don't know why he gets the assist it's not really an assist is it really but we'll take it either way Middlesbrough nil Barnsley won things are going pretty well another highlight 54 minutes in Middlesbrough this time who were coming forward with the ball wing switches the plate at Tavernier on this left hand side and that that might be the worst shot ever 
with only 25 minutes to go, we will look to make some changes ourselves. I and Van der Heerde can come off and Malik Wilkes on that right-hand side. Who's not playing particularly well? Let's have a look. Jamal Blackman's not having the greatest game. Corley Woodrow can come off. We'll get Esposito on try and improve his um, match sharpness after his return from injury. But Middlesbrough Tavernier, please get the block in. Oh my God. That was that should be 1-1. So now with only 20 minutes to go, we are looking to kill this game. We're going to lower the tempo quite a bit. We're going to be a bit more disciplined. Um, gone to a positive team mentality as well to try and retain the possession. Middlesbrough have been creeping upwards in terms of the possession stats so we want to try and kill that off a little bit if possible and we'll kick, kick off with a highlight here Malik Wilkes he's hungry for some goals is Wilkes he goes for goal and it goes over the bar and it looks like the tactic is working we have killed this game well and truly and time is ticking away and we get our first victory after being confirmed championship winners absolutely fantastic stuff so not much to say really not much suspense being able to build up, considering we are already champions, we are now 23 points clear from West Ham with only six games remaining. I guess now it's just to see of how many points can we get. So with that in mind, we will come back for the next episode. We're not going to play two games, we'll just play one. We'll play Derby away from home to complete the season. And uh, then we'll discuss our next season objectives, who we're keeping, who we want, and where we go from here. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.